hello friends welcome back to today's swahili lesson i'm so happy to do this lesson again i'm so happy to teach you something new if it's your first time watching my video uh if it's your first time here you're much welcome karibu sana and if you are if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much thank you so much for always following my lessons okay so today i'm going to teach you 10 polite words to use in swahili language 10 polite words that you can use in your daily uh, conversation or as you continue learning swahili language okay so stay until the very end so that you don't miss anything uh, for those who don't know my name, uh, Gina Langu, me Jacinta. My name is Jacinta and let's get into the video. All right. So uh, my first phrase that I want to teach you is a greeting, which is hujambo. You've heard about this greeting, right? When you meet someone, you can greet that person by saying hujambo. Hujambo sim simply means hello. You're saying hello to that person. Hujambo. Hujambo. Okay. Hujambo. Hello. You're saying hello to that person. And the person can respond by saying sijambo, which means I'm fine. Sijambo. Sijambo. I'm fine. So hujambo, sijambo. I'll give you a second to try. Good. Hujambo si jambo. That's my first phrase. Let's get to my second phrase, which is also another greeting, which is used uh, to show some respect to the older people, especially grandparents, parents. You can use this greeting, shikamo. Okay, shikamo. If it's mom, you can say shikamo mama. If it's grandmother, you can say shikamo nyanya or shikamo bibi. Okay, if it's grandfather, you can say shikamo babu. So shikamo is a greeting used when you want to show respect to the older people, especially young people greeting older people. Okay, to show some respect. And how do the people respond? Uh, marahaba marahaba so you say shikamo mama and mama will say marahaba okay shikamo babu grandfather and babu will say marahaba so the greeting is shikamo marahaba okay so that's a very good way to show uh, respect when greeting the older people okay so let's get to the third phrase. The third phrase is saying please all the time. You want something. Please. Learn to say please. In Swahili, we simply say tafadhali. Tafadhali. Okay? Tafadhali. You want to ask for water? Don't just say, I want water. You can say, please, can I get some water? Okay? Use the word tafadhali tafadhali okay you want someone to assist you in any way learn to say tafadhali please before requesting for what you wanted okay learning to say tafadhali will even make the other person uh, feel like helping you or feel like giving you uh, whatever you are asking for instead of just saying um i want this or give me this if you say tafadhali it will create a very good impression and you will eventually get what you're asking for, okay? So the word please in Swahili is tafadhali. All right, if you are, if you are uh, learning something, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the notification button, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss on my next video. All right, let's continue. Uh, my third phrase, sorry, my fourth phrase is asante. I've been using this word a lot. Some of you may not know what it means. Uh, for those who are coming in, for those who, who are new, I've been using this word all the time, asante. 
end, asante simply means thank you. Asante, thank you. You can also add sana, which means asante sana, uh, thank you very much. Asante sana, thank you so much or thank you very much. So you can either say asante or you can say asante sana. Asante sana. When you receive something, when you've gotten some help from someone, learn to always say thank you. Okay, when you asked for something and then you are given, learn to use the word thank you, asante, or just say asante sana. And the person will feel much better even to help you next time. But if you just leave without saying thank you, then it's not good, right? So let's learn to say asante sana, okay? All right, my next phrase is karibu. Karibu. So when uh, you say to someone, asante sana, the person will answer karibu, which means welcome. Or the person can even say karibu sana, you are very much welcome. Okay, karibu sana, or the person will just say karibu. So can you practice a little? Asante sana. Karibu, karibu sana. All right. Um, uh, if, if someone visits your home, if someone visits your home, learn to say welcome to your friends when they come over. Learn to say welcome to a visitor who may be coming to your house. You know, uh, if you say karibu to someone, welcome, it means a lot. It will make that person feel very comfortable even sitting in your house. But if someone came and you just looking at them, you didn't even say karibu, they will not feel comfortable, okay? They will maybe think you didn't want them to do what? To come. So learn to say welcome to anybody visiting your home. Welcome, karibu. And if there are many people, let me say two or more people, say to them, karibuni, 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 okay? You're welcoming all of them in your house. All right, so karibu uh, is the word to use. My next phrase is saying excuse me, excuse me when necessary, excuse me. In Swahili we say samahani, okay, a very nice polite word, samahani, okay, just see the way it's flowing, samahani, it even feels good saying it, samahani, excuse me, okay. You want to get permission to do something. Samahani, excuse me, can I, oh, can I go out? Excuse me, can I take this call? Maybe in the middle of a meeting and it's urgent, what will you do? You have to use this word, samahani, okay? Maybe um, in the middle of a conversation, you want to do something, you want to go help yourself out, samahani. Okay, it saves the day. Samahani, excuse me, you bumped into someone or someone is uh, in your way, you want to pass. Learn to say, Samahani, minaweza kupita, can I pass? Yeah, and that will save the day, okay? Then my next word is pole, pole. Pole simply means sorry, pole. Pole, just simple like that. Especially if someone has lost a loved one, you can say to them, Pole sana, Pole sana, I'm so sorry, I'm very sorry, okay? Pole sana, okay? Or if you wronged someone, you did a mistake uh, and you didn't wish to do that, you can always say, Pole, okay? It doesn't cost a thing to say sorry, okay, when you are needed to do so. Sorry, okay, it brings back people together. Pole, it brings back people together, okay. Even uh, if you are to become enemies with someone, it will bring that friendship together. Just one word, pole, you can say pole sana, and the person will be able to understand you, okay. I hope you are learning something and I hope you are getting it and that's my joy. All right, my next word is hodi. 
So this happens in most of uh, the African homes, okay? Um, it's like our culture. When you visit someone's home, uh, not all uh, houses have a bell to ring. So what we do, you just have to knock. So the way we do it, we say, Hodi, as we knock on someone's door. Hodi. So you can do it up to three times. Maybe if the person uh, is uh, maybe far away from the door, you can do it up to three times maybe for the person to hear, okay? Hodi. Hodi. And that's a very polite way instead of just bumping into somebody's house, you know? Like to show some respect, you have to knock first before entering. You know, anywhere you go, you find a closed door, you have to knock first. Learn to knock first, you know. Learn to knock first. You never know what you're going to find yourself into if you don't knock, right? <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So learn to knock first when visiting someone. But we only do that uh, in homes. We don't do that um, in offices mostly. We don't go knocking in offices, yeah. But if you are visiting my, my house, if you're visiting your friend's house, you can knock. Or if you want to enter someone's bedroom, you want to take someone, learn to knock. If the person is inside the room, you can, you can knock first and then be given permission to do to enter, okay? Yeah, so hodi is the word to use. Hodi. Hold it, okay? And the person will listen and then come over or tell you, yes, come in, okay? Then uh, the next word to use, uh, which most people don't use, even some native speakers, um, is naomba, okay? Most people will say nataka, which means I want, you know, maybe if you want something. It's good to be polite and use this word instead naomba so naomba asking in a polite way asking for something in a polite way if it's a drink naomba kinyoaji naomba kinyoaji if it's water uh, naomba maji okay don't just go to a place and say nataka maji nataka kinyoaji nataka chakula no learn to use this polite word naomba okay naomba even the person you are talking to will find it easy to help you instead of shouting, Nataka, I want. <laughs> it's like you're forcing, you know, you're trying to force that person that that person needs to give you that thing, okay? If not, there'll be trouble. So learn to say Naomba. So Naomba, asking for something in a very polite way way okay now all right then my last phrase that i want to give you today when you are finishing a conversation with someone you are going your way you are parting ways learn to say kwaheri kwaheri to someone you don't just say kwaheri when you're frowning kwaheri <laughs> you try to say kwaheri you give that person a smile at least knowing that you are going to meet each other next time. So learn to part ways in a good way by saying kwaheri, goodbye, yeah, okay? Kwaheri means goodbye. All right, so those are some of the polite words that you can use in Swahili language. If you have a question, if you have a word that you want me to translate, let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely translate for you. If you have any word that you think I needed to add, you can let me know in the comment section and I will interact and answer. Okay. Asante sana. Thank you so much for watching today's video and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you can show love to this video by subscribing. Subscribe so that you don't miss uh, any Swahili lesson. You want to learn Swahili? Subscribe to follow my Swahili lessons. Okay? Kwaheri! Until we meet next time.